Ezio kindly invited me to, to speak at this, even though my project is in its infancy at the moment. So it's only just begun. It's called A Thousand Coats, and I'll explain it in a minute. But I thought I'd just give you a brief inter introduction to a couple of other projects um, that led into community work. Um, I'm showing this slide. This was in um, Kyrgyzstan in 2012. I was a foreign, uh, foreign correspondent with the BBC World Service, and I was invited out um, to make a, to direct and um, present a two-part series on the arts in Kyrgyzstan. And it's a project that changed uh, my belief systems and my, uh, my work as an artist. Um, Kyrgyzstan's uh, been through two revolutions, post-Soviet collapse, and is redefining its identity as a country. And um, it was absolutely fascinating to see uh, how kind of meaning was cultivated through the arts there. Um, so uh, that was one project. And whilst I was working with them, I developed a project around memory. And my work centers and... Um, the centre's really on identity and memory. So um, this was uh, a project uh, recently I did with St. Christopher's Hospice in Sydenham in South London. It's a film I made called Birth Origins at the End of Life, and it was women in hospice care sharing uh, their memories of birth. So, um, And whilst this is the art pavilion at St. Christopher's in Sydenham, it was a collaboration with Pulse Films, and uh, University of the Arts London and, um, and St. Christopher's. And St. Christopher's has an arts pavilion dedicated to uh, uh, kind of accessing uh, deeper and more meaningful sides of ourselves and accessing uh, the place beyond death itself through making work. And... Um, and it was an in incredible experience for me to spend three months working there with the women. And um, I produced a film which uh, I'm showing in all over the all over at the moment. I'm about to show it in South Africa. This is Bemi, um, who was one of the six women who ended up in the film. Um, but in terms of kind of meaningful encounters and impacting a wider community, it definitely did all those things. Um, the project I'm working on uh, now, well, it, it's going to be for 2018, um, is called A Thousand Coats, which uh, invites women in the community in East London to make coats as a performance. So over a week, we will uh, bring in women and do workshops as well um, in advance of this week, and they will sew the coats, and the coats will then be shown in a museum, and then they will be given away to children. So it's making a comment on Lewis Hyde's The Gift, which says that traditionally art was gifted and doesn't remain stagnant, stagnant in a museum or institution. And the magic moment I've chosen, because there haven't been many yet, has just begun the conversations, but it was I'm working with Carol Morrison, um, who's the outreach manager at um, LCF, and with Claire Swift, who's the director of social responsibility. Um, and we went to this wonderful event the other day, um, which was the graduation ceremony for making a garment. Um, and this was women in, uh, from a children's center, all mothers who'd never sewn before, and they had learned to sew and these are some of the women here, and this was their graduation day. So these are just some images um, from the project. That's Claudette, who runs the Children's Center. Um, and one of the great things about this for me was, um, was when they were graduating, we sat uh, just before getting their certificates, we sat around a table and we all introduced ourselves and said, who we were and where we come from. And actually, my research at London College of Fashion is called Human Fabric and is very much about core identity. But as we sat around the table and went round, just simply saying our names and where we came from, there was a kind of energy 
that was created in the room, which was very powerful and connecting. And I really hope to achieve that through this week of making coats as well. So this is another... This is one of the women there as well. One minute. So all of them are mothers, and all of them were very proud of what they'd made. Um, this is a woman uh, uh, from a project in Brazil. I can't actually off the top of my head remember the name. I think it's called Pontos Contos. And it's, uh, they weave and sew stories into fabrics and then sell them back into the community. But she came to give a presentation on the day as well. Um, and this uh, particular text says, always embrace what makes you happy. So it's one of the... Uh, one of the women she works with had sewn that stitching into the fabric. And these were all the women together in the group before they got their certificates. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's that's it really, actually. Yeah. Thank you.